Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. My channel is about marriage to a woman from the Philippines, something many of you may be thinking about or in the process of doing that, or you're already with your Filipino wife. <clears throat> and um, many times people think about, well, maybe I should retire in the Philippines. If you're not retired already, you might be thinking ahead. I know many men are. So this is about six ways that I would have to adjust if we did make that move. I met my Filipino wife in 2015, and at that time, there was no thought whatsoever about retiring in the Philippines. I had a rough first trip there. I wasn't used to the, you know, it's about 26, 28 hours to get there and the four flights, and I thought I would never go back. But I've been back about four times. And um, eventually, you know, my wife and I brought up the idea of possibly living there in the Philippines. By the way, uh, be prepared to leave a comment and subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea. And if you're watching on YouTube, um, use that notification bell to get updated on the videos, which are about four or five a week. <clears throat> now, um, I, I did come to a point where I thought, you know what? Maybe I should do this. Maybe I shouldn't dismiss it. I thought, well, it's on the other side of the world. Everything I know is here. No way. But... Um, I have a lot of love for my wife, and uh, <clears throat> back then, we've been married nine years, but early on, first few years, she didn't, you know, want to live here in America the rest of her life, and uh, initially plan was for her to stay here until I die, then she would go back to the Philippines. Over the years, I've thought, uh, <clears throat> well, maybe... Um, we should both go there so that I die in the Philippines. I have a plot here um, at a local cemetery where you know my mother is going to be buried, my father is, my sister was or is, my grandmother is, and uh, so I have a, a plot there too. But that doesn't mean I have to die here. Could be the Philippines. And uh, we actually have a house in the Philippines because we're really... Uh, serious about that and um, <clears throat> I'd say it's maybe four years old it's hard to tell time goes by so fast got furniture in there um, so it's a possibility right now 2024 I would say I'm probably more inclined to stay here in the United States my wife has um, done very well in the workforce she's making a lot of money She's a supervisor now. The money isn't the important thing to me. It's how she asserts herself on the job and how she uses her skills and work ethic. And uh, <clears throat> people she works for are very happy with her. And so it's quite possible she would like to stay here, uh, maybe even after I die. So plans change. You, 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 know, you get into something and you think about the future. Well, don't necessarily lock yourself into that future. Things could change. Now, here's six ways I would have to adjust. One would be relaxing. Now, you'd say, wow, isn't that a great thing to do? <clears throat> well, it might be the easiest, but it's not something that I'm used to after working for um, about 40 years and I am retired now. We'd probably go to the beach quite a bit. I, you know, I like to stay tan whenever I could. Um, but relaxation, that'd be a good adjustment, right? From working six days a week and, you know, <clears throat> life slips away so fast. It would be nice to retire in a, you know, beautiful place like the Philippines. It's not all beautiful, but it would be where our home is. So relaxation. Another one I'd have to adapt to is finding significance. Have you ever thought about that one? Significance? Because... I'm just going to relax, lay in a hammock all day, soak in the sunshine. You know, that would get kind of old and it wouldn't provide me much fulfillment. So I'd have to find something to do in the Philippines that I look forward to doing that isn't backbreaking, but I find rewarding. And let me know if some of you have moved, retired in the Philippines and, you know, what your adjustments have been because 
I do know that most, there was a statistic like this, most of the expats that go to the Philippines and, <clears throat> and live there, they're gone. 80% of them are gone in three years. And that doesn't surprise me. There's lots of reasons for that. It could be the heat, the weather, you know, the, the slowness of processes over there, people always being late, um, you know, health care. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's other things. It could be, um, you know, you just feel unfulfilled once you get there. Another thing, um, my wife's interests, I've kind of had to adapt to that here in America, but I know when she gets back to her old stomping grounds, she's not just going to want to relax and do nothing. She's, she might even want to work and that would be okay, but I'd rather have it be in something like, you know, she's in real estate selling land, something she doesn't have to work hard at every day. And, and who knows, that's just, a thought that I've heard she's had. She's a very ambitious, hard worker, and she has dreams too. Maybe if uh, we retired in the Philippines, excuse me, um, I could help her do something with her interests. Perhaps I would find that fulfilling. Another adaptation is church. <coughs> We'd have to pick a church uh, together for worship and to support that church. Um, obviously, I've had the ones I've gone to all my life here in America, that would be quite a bit different. The whole church experience I've found to be much different than, than what I'm used to. The music is different, much more um, lively. And, um, you know, every, every pastor is going to be different. Um, it's kind of loud, too, some of these churches in the Philippines. But that would be something else for me to adapt to. Family. Being away from my family, although we don't have much family, and I wouldn't go retire in the Philippines if my mother was still alive. She's 91 and living with us here, like my wife wanted her to do. But if we're going to be going there, we Philippines, we'd probably be living in our house with some family members. I don't really have a problem with that. Might require a big adjustment for me. We've got our own room, our own bathroom over there. <clears throat> The place I call the big house is like, um, or they call it too, five bedrooms. And um, when we've been there on my vacations with her, yeah, you know, I'm kind of used to going to bed in peace and quiet. And uh, over there, you know, people maybe stay up later. There's karaoke. There's the neighbor's karaoke. And that can really drive you crazy. So you might need to bring some earplugs if you're intending to retire in the Philippines. And let's see, um, and of course, she's going to want to be with her family a lot, friends. I might not be able to see her as much as I would like if we were there full time. Last one I'll mention here is uh, travel, and that's a good adjustment because uh, I'd like to see some other places in the Philippines. And if we're already there and our money situation is good, <clears throat> I don't mind gathering up the family and going to see places they've never seen or uh, places they have seen before that they think I would like to see. We've done a little bit of that, you know, in five times there, but, you know, why not? Especially if you can afford it and it's, uh, you know, might take a little longer to get to, but sure, I could go to the Philippines and, and do some traveling. Now, as far as the future, there's a few Bible verses I want to talk about. Um, <clears throat> there's one in Proverbs 19, 21, many of the plans in a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purposes that prevails. James 4, 13 and 15 says, you don't know what your life will be like tomorrow. It goes on to say, we should say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or do that. Proverbs 16, 9, the mind of a man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And he's certainly done that in my life in unexpected ways that I have to accept and adapt to and trust him for. And that would be um, same thing for the Philippines. Big, big move. He may say, Bob, you're going to the Philippines, or he may say not. But uh, nevertheless, it's exciting thinking about uh, the future potentially and being with my love beyond the sea.